Ever since Google announced the official end date of Universal Analytics, I've been fielding questions, complaints, and arguments from everybody I know about what happens next. The questions from my old school cousin, Jeffrey, are among the most animated. Hey Jeff, I know you laid out some pretty compelling arguments in your last video, but I still don't trust Google Analytics 4. Google totally botched the rollout and the product has no personality. Now, if you watch my last video, I gave you six reasons why you should embrace GA4. In this video, I'm gonna share eight more reasons why you should transition to Google Analytics 4. And you can watch our previous video by going to ddu.ai slash retirement or click on the link in this video's description. And while all the questions and complaints about GA4 that I've received are valid, and we all have our anger over Google's choices, once we get over the initial grief of losing something familiar, it's easy to see why GA4 is a great change that we should all embrace. To help you understand why the switch to GA4 is the most positive change we've had to the analytics world in years, I'm gonna answer eight more questions and complaints from my cousin Jeffrey with a level-headed perspective about why I'm excited about GA4. the data. I installed GA4. The data doesn't match the data in Universal Analytics. What gives? Why doesn't the data match? Here's a secret that analytics professionals like me have known all along. Your data in Google Analytics was never accurate. You just didn't care about the accuracy because it was the best you had, it was free, and it was far too expensive to make it perfect. If you didn't want to invest the time and money in data perfection with Universal GA, you probably won't make that investment in GA4 either. I've heard that Google Analytics was free because Google knew that when you can track users and conversions from end to end, then you'd spend more money on ads. Is this just a Trojan horse or what? You're absolutely right if you think Google had an agenda by making Google Analytics free. If you ask me, it's one of the savviest moves in the history of corporate stock performance. It's the reason why Alphabet, Google's parent company, has grown so mighty over the years and why search ads are the highest margin product since Coca-Cola. While Google Analytics 4 remains free, Google has made processing GA4 data more transparent, lightweight, and less invasive for users. GA4 truly takes the user's best interest into account and shows us how to improve user performance through optimization, not manipulation. When I use GA4, nothing works like I want it to work. I can't do analysis the old way, my e-commerce reports are questionable, and even when I set up conversions, I don't think it really works that well. Is GA4 broken? Google Analytics has always been clunky. This isn't a new feature in Google Analytics 4. For years, e-commerce reports were ignored, or our data didn't go in properly, and it was stacked with incorrect assumptions on top of each other. Even when we did our best to get Universal Analytics set up properly, the system would seemingly choose at random whether a report would work. Customizations like dimensions and metrics, they weren't much better. Even when they worked, it was only visible on a handful of reports. The truth is that GA was never meant to be your database of record. It was a second opinion system for getting a little bit more performance out of your e-commerce system, your ad platforms, or your CRM. Universal Analytics had more quirks than Rain Man at a blackjack table. It's last one. There's lots of them? Lots and lots of them. Some reports haven't worked for the last three years. Google took their A team off of Universal Analytics years ago. All the founders of Urchin Analytics, they've moved on to greater pastures. They even disbanded the Advocates program. Universal GA has been floating around aimlessly like the dude's dream sequence in The Big Lebowski. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Now we knew that GA was being phased out, but we didn't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, so we sort of ignored it until that point. The reports in Universal Analytics were a beautiful work of art, like the Sistine Chapel or dogs playing poker. Now, we've got a pretty basic trend line report and not much else. I miss the old reports. You're right, I miss these reports as well. But I've also evolved my stance on the value of reporting screenshots in Google Analytics. You don't need them anymore because Google Data Studio is much better. You can customize reports, present data with your own colors and branding, and you can scale across clients. It's light years ahead of Universal GA and even GA4's capability to use Data Studio. And so if you use Data Studio for your reports, you won't be losing much when the switch from platforms takes place. 
You can adjust your reports in a few minutes by updating your data source and adjusting for the new data model. Instead of hanging on to the familiar, you can make yourself appear more valuable to your organization and your clients with better reporting. One thing I've loved about Google Analytics is the ability to create views and limit data sharing with the dummies in my company who can't read data. I wish GA4 could do that too. Okay, let's talk about views. Views in Google Analytics have always been clunky and inaccurate. If you were tracking conversions, you almost never got them right in your views because filters were either too open-ended or too restrictive. So you'd have these 80% conversion rates on a subdirectory, or you'd have no conversion rate at all. There was no real way to limit the data that could be seen by users, and access to reports was a mess. Well, with GA4, you can create reports that give you complete control over which metrics are displayed. So you can finally have the benefits of the universal GA views, but without having to painstakingly set them up with filters to get there. Now this low maintenance, all upside technique is a major benefit to GA4 that most people haven't picked up on yet. Not to mention the control you can gain by using Data Studio for your reports. I've been in marketing for 40 years and I'm gonna miss the ability to look up our old campaigns, like that campaign in 2016 that did really well. We made, you know what, great again. And I wanna compare that performance to this year's performance under the new regime. I can't believe that Universal Analytics is going away and I can't do these comparisons. This sucks. I wish I had it back. Let me tell you a secret. You can still run reports from 2016 and compare them side by side with the present, even after you switch to GA4. Your old reports aren't going away. They're just a little bit more complicated to pull up. Yes, you won't be able to compare your data year over year in Universal Analytics after July 1, 2023, but that means you have plenty of time to tag your GA4 account to retain this capability. I recommend that you focus on your future report sustainability versus wasting time complaining about the past. How much does data from six years ago really help you anyway? Live in the now, man, live in the now. You know what I heard? I heard that Google just forcing GA4 on us so they can get our old data off the books and they can start fresh. That's bad for the users, right? That's my data. I hate to break it to you, but your past data is a liability. There's a near certain chance that your past data contains information that would be deemed illegal under the GDPR. For example, any email address that's stored in your pages report is a violation of GDPR and Google's terms of service. Any data that features personalization within it is a liability for you and for Google. Think of this as a fresh start with privacy first analytics, not a loss of data you'll never look at again anyway. You know what, Jeff, even with everything you've said, I just don't like using GA4. Not all the reports work, it's not ready for prime time, and now the clock is ticking. I just can't get over how incomplete this product is. I've been working closely with Google Analytics for 15 plus years, and have been a partner of Google's for many of these. And while it seems romantic now that Universal Analytics was a great product from day one, it didn't always start out that way. In fact, it was pretty quirky when it was first released and I advised clients and students to wait for years before moving over to Universal Analytics from Classic. Then magically, it just got better as the deadline approached to move over. And that's what I suspect what will happen here with GA4. The complaints we have today will slowly become a thing of the past. We'll think it's funny how much we despise GA4, and then looking back in our old account to see data, it's gonna be hilarious and meme-worthy to look it out out of date it seems. It's gonna be hilarious, someday. Now I'm quite certain that at some point you'll love GA4 more than you ever loved Universal Analytics, and I hope you remain patient enough to savor this feeling in the future. You know what, cousin? You've somehow managed to give a counterpoint to all my core arguments, but I'm still annoyed with how GA4 was rolled out. You know what, you're right on this one. I'm not super happy that Universal Google Analytics has gone away or with how the transition's been handled. But the last five years, I was becoming complacent and disenfranchised with how old Universal Analytics seemed to me. It was no longer innovative. It was becoming an albatross. It needed to be completely overhauled. And my request had been answered, but the transition has been rocky. Change, it's always hard. Eliminating technical debt, it's a painful investment. But the reality is here. We need to move on, rebuild, and eliminate the debt that Google put us in. You should move on by adopting implementing and using Google's newest tool, GA4. 
There's a reason why I still have GA4 rated as the best replacement to Universal Analytics. Make sure you check out this channel to see how I rank all the Google Analytics alternatives. Sure, there's other options out there which have a great feature set, but they aren't nearly as complete as GA4 and they're not free. So it's your choice. Do you want to pay for something different so you can stick it to Google, or do you want to go back to the addiction that is GA, but with just a little bit different flavor? And let me leave you with this. Are you ready to transition to GA4 the right way? The best way to get started is by downloading our 30-page Google Analytics Migration Guide PDF and Checklist. If you download this handy guide for free, you can go through and you can make the transition to GA4 an easy one. And you can pick up this guide and checklist at ddu.ai slash GA4.